me through uh, a scenario or um, a, a system in this space that is very futuristic, you know, that maybe I couldn't even imagine or that I, I don't quite have the, the, um, the context to even think up. So, so like, where is this going? Or like, what's a dream of, how, of, of where this could go? Yeah, great, great question. Sort of where's the moonshot type of approach in the, in the innovation? You hear this word, you aim for the moon and you end up with something that's closer to reality that actually then is implemental, implemented in the real world rather than always an aspiration. You want to get to something that actually can be used and op, what we do would call operationalized and actually implemented. So think of your um, inner community and traditionally you have a manned aircraft come in but then you're, you're needing, um, a medical hub is needing some supplies. They communicate with the, um, the sort of regional, regional hub of, of, and say, hey, we're getting low on particular supplies at the moment. We're, we're seeing an influx of, of, of community members needing a particular drug or a particular medical, um, so we need more medical equipment. They log onto a system, type it in and say, okay, we need to have our increased um, we need to have some more supplies come in. We're seeing a, a, a maxing out of our capacity. And the larger hub goes, yep, yeah, no problem, clicks a button. And aircraft is, is then either, could either be manually added. I'm even thinking in the future, it could be automatically added as a payload. And the aircraft takes off. Um, it's following a known route. It knows where it needs to land. It's going to the location of where that, uh, re that smaller community needs supplies. Um, it's being tracked by a ground station of systems that can determine where it is relative to any other aircraft in the airspace. It lands, person goes out um, who's from the um, smaller community and supplies are there, they take it off the aircraft, then the aircraft knows that the, the person taps into their iPad or computer system and says, yeah, picked it up, uh, just like a, a driver drops off a package and the aircraft takes off goes back on its automated pattern back to its regional hub and it then sits waiting for its next delivery request. Um, the moonshot idea is you still have a human in the loop, but they're just watching the automated process of the drug being packaged, put onto the package tray, going onto the aircraft, fly, land, being taken off, going through, and then the person in the regional health service has their package in their hand but you've still got somebody in the loop watching the automated system going through. Um, but it's a, it's a crawl, crawl, walk, run process. So there's different stages and different phases. You would need a truly beyond line of sight operations. You would need a um, system tested to know that it's gonna be able to react to any other aircraft or anything else in the airspace. It can take off and land safely. And there's, that's why it's these steps moving forwards with the aim to go towards having these autonomous systems be part of a cargo network 